So that was the long explanation for people who haven't really used After Effects very much of how I made up those titles. Hopefully it shows you a few basic things about After Effects as well. But there's one other thing that I really have to point out to do with these titles, and it's possibly the coolest thing about using these titles inside of Premiere. Now I want to reuse that title on other sequences, and that's the mega cool thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the setting in After Effects. So let's pop back to After Effects, choose the composition, and actually go to composition settings and on the advanced tab I'm going to tick this thing say use it as a template and as it says a template means unlocked text layers can be editable in Premiere so if I tick that I can use it as a template and use it lots of times in Premiere without having to remake it easier to show you let's tick that okay save it come back into Premiere and I've got that one for surround sound let me now go back to the bin and copy it and paste it and let's start up a new sequence take that copy throw it onto the timeline and obviously just get whatever other piece of video goes underneath it select it one zero zero puts it one second in control p puts the cross dissolve on so now i've got that it's exactly the same title as i used in the first one but I want to change the words. And this is the cool thing about ticking that template thing. If I now click on the title, and I come up to the effects control window here, but you've got two tabs. You've got the master clip effect, and you've got the effects on the timeline. And to change the words on an After Effects template, you come to this thing, to the master title, and you can see the words. And now I can change the words. So let's change the words on that one to editing, maybe, because this is part of the editing section. Let's change the words. Oh, bang. As soon as I've changed it, the words editing have changed. Surround sound. Well, it's not surround sound. This one, let's call this chapters, I don't know, trimming. Trimming. Now you can see I've got exactly the same animation, but with different words. Okay, slight problem. The words trimming have come up in slightly the wrong place. Why is that? Actually, back in After Effects, if you go to the surround sound words and the character tab, you notice I've got it set to be right justified. So I shouldn't have done that. I should have done it left justified. Bit annoying, because if I'd done left justified, it would have made sure that always ends up in the same place. Whereas because it's right justified, that's ending up in the same place. But I can change that. Let's go back in here. So make it left justified. There we are. It's changing up here. And what I'm going to have to do is open up the keyframes for the position on that and then just go to that keyframe and then move them across a bit to there and then this one needs to be at 630 as well so move to that one and change it to 630 there we are in go the word surround sound and sit there save it but it's a template so pop back into Premiere and you now see that text is coming up in the right place and this text is coming up in the right place and these templates are even cooler than that let's plug another one in go to the titles I'm gonna go and copy it and paste it because I want to make sure I have a new version I've changed the columns in here to show me that the ones that are being used so I know those two are being used I can do things like change the name on it so that one was they say trimming and that one was surround sound let's go to this one let's make me up another new sequence bish bash bosh bung the title in there Go back to that master. Now let's see, this is exporting maybe. Export. And let's call this one making MP. Same title, does all the same stuff, motion blurring and everything else. And I just keep changing the words in there. I never change these words, so I mean I could just forget about it. Or if I really wanted to lock them off, you can actually come into here and then choose the layer, this one and lock it because I don't know if you remember there was this thing in the composition settings that says unlocked text layers well if I lock that text layer and save it back in Premiere I now can't change those ones I can only change the others so once you make up a title like that you can give it to people they can't change these but they can change those but it gets even cooler than that pretty cool right now even cooler than that let's go back to this template Let's look at the surround sound box. So that box there, that purple box, I called it right. I wish it wasn't quite that purple. I tell you what, I'm gonna to go to the gradient settings, edit the gradient, and let's make the bottom one there a bit darker. 
And the top one, well, let's make it the same as the one next to it. I want them all to match. Actually, I don't. I prefer it the other way. But imagine I wanted to change it. I'm going to save that. I'm then going to come back to Premiere. Boff. That one changes. This one changes. This one changes. I don't like the typeface of the word surround sound. I wish that was a different typeface. Let's come over to character. Change the typeface to something else. Oh, that's well, okay. That's awful. Let's change it to an awful typeface. So save it. Come back to Premiere. Every time those words are used, the typeface changes, but the words don't. So that's the beauty of using an After Effects template. You can spend a lot of time laying it out in After Effects. And if you decide after you've used it loads of times that you really want to change something about it, you just go back to the master After Effects composition, change something about it, and it's changed all the way through the timeline. So it's a lovely way of doing titles. And there are loads and loads more ways of doing things with titles in After Effects. Don't forget, you can go out to Animation and Browse Presets. And here you can see there's lots of different sort of pre-made things. But there's a whole text section here where you've got lots of different pre-made animations for you on titles. So you could nick those and use them and then customize them. You can sort of deconstruct them and work out what they're doing. You've even got backgrounds and all sorts of other fancy things which you can nick and then use. And you can make up some animated thing. And as long as you set it as a template, you can then pop it into Premiere. And then every Premiere, just copy it and then change the copy. And it'll be exactly the same animation, but just different text all the way through. This was something that was added into the Creative Cloud in about 2013, 2014. But it's a really nice addition. And if you've got After Effects, it's a great way of doing animated, fancy animated titles and then reusing them. In my case, I've got lots and lots of sequences. I break my tutorials up into lots of small chapters. And it's a great way of doing the titles because once I've made up a really fancy title, I can then reuse it and just use the same settings all the way throughout. Anyway, I hope that's been a very useful tutorial for you about making titles in After Effects. And for those of you who haven't used After Effects much, has helped you a little bit to learn a bit of After Effects. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit the DVC website where we've got lots more tutorials and information. Sign up to our Facebook page for notifications about new tutorials and other news going on in the video world. And of course, get in touch with us, 01273205700 in the UK, if you want to chat about any of the items that we sell, or email us, sales at dvc.uk.com. And finally, don't forget that if you want our full Premiere Pro CC tutorial, it's available off the website www.dvc.uk.com, where you can see a couple of samples of the tutorial and a description of everything that's inside of it. See you later.